Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right. Well, to mix things up, uh, today we're going to do a Photoshop CC tutorial. This is going to be a quick and easy one, but I think the effect is pretty cool. We're going to work in the 3D workspace in Photoshop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a 2D random image, we're going to create a 3D text, and we're going to place that into our 2D image to kind of simulate that the text is actually there at that location. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go to File, Open, and I found this random image of a parking lot. There we go, and I'll open that up. And I'm just going to go to View and Zoom In so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so now for our text, we're going to go to the T for text. And what we'll do is we'll just do, I don't know, A space B space C. All right, so we're going to select that. You can decide, you know, what type of uh, letter you want and so forth. Let's see. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. We'll just take this. Okay. Now here is, uh, you know, the size. I got that on 72. That's fine. And okay, we'll just leave it at that. All right. Now we need to select a color for our text. So I'm going to select the color picker. And I'm going to go around on my picture here. And let's do something just gray. Now you don't really see it that well right now, but when we're done, you should be able to see it uh, just fine. So with this text created, I'm going to go to my selector. I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to select the texture layer that I created. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go all the way down to new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Okay. And already you can see that um, some stuff is going on here. Okay. You got uh, a whole new structure down here with all sorts of information on lighting and position and shade and so forth. And you got some controls here. Okay. And as you hover over that, you can see that a lot of things are changing. Okay. Now up here, you have a number of buttons that will give you control over your text. The one on the left here is um, your mesh. Okay. And you have some options here, uh, catch shadows and cast shadows. Okay. They're both selected, but down here you have the option to tweak the extrusion depth. Okay. So as I pull on that, you can see that that is extended to the back. But more importantly, to give this some realism, you should have some uh, shadow going on, right? So we're going to left click on this uh, arrow here and we're going to pull that up. And as we do that, you can see that shade is now created. Uh, on the floor, which is pretty cool, right? Now, if we switch to this button right here, you have, uh, again, the option to tweak the extrusion depth, but also twist, for example. Now, we don't really want that because it's completely distorting our image. So we're going to hit Control-Z to go back. And you can also taper your text. And we're not going to do that either, okay? Now, what else do we got? You got the option to bevel your text, okay? And you know, if the width and the angle, you can uh, change that. Uh, we're going to leave all of that alone. What we are going to do, however, is we're going to try to create the uh, shadows in a location that is realistic to the scene. Okay. Now, if we look at our image, there's not a lot of shadow going on, but you can see on the side of the curb up here and with the tree down here that the sun seems to be coming from the left and is already fairly low. I would say, you know, probably later in the afternoon. So let's try to simulate that, okay? So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on our infinite light button. And when we do that, so now with this control, I can, uh, you know, control the angle of my light and so also my uh, shadow down here. And we're gonna kind of see if we can get in line with the shadow that's uh, cast from this tree here. So I'm just gonna move that in this direction to probably something like that. I think that's pretty close. 
And when we're happy with that, we now need to render out the scene to get a realistic look of the quality because this is fairly low quality and we want it to look nice. Uh, but that's going to take a bit. So I'm going to pause the video during the render and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay. Right, guys. Well, um, yeah, there we go. There's our uh, 3D text with uh, the shade on the asphalt. And uh, that's all there's to it. So have fun with that. And uh, let's see what you come up with. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Love to see you guys again.